Hello everybody, this is jcook93 and this video is part 3 of modding Minecraft. Now, I'm gonna show you and add links to all this stuff I'm about to show you. But to do this, next step, you need to make sure you've got the JDK, which is the Java development kit as you can see here. Now right down here, you've got two options for Windows. Here's 64 and 86. Now if you got the 64 bit of Windows download that. If you d don't know what you've got what you do, you come down to here find computer, right click on that properties and then right here system type 32 bit operating system is what I'm running. Now let's say 64 if it does click this and follow the instructions then install instructions and if you've got 32 like me, use the 86. Okay, so make sure that's downloaded. Then we want to make sure we got the latest version of Minecraft Coding Pack. So the latest one will be here. I'll add a link to this site again. Latest there as well. It tells you which ones it's compatible with. And we want to make sure we've got the Java for Minecraft. So go to www.net.forward/download. Make sure you click Minecraft.jar, if you can't see that, click on Show All Platforms. And then the beta server down here, make sure you got the .jar as well. Now that's out of the way. Here is the Minecraft Coder Pack, I've already downloaded it. And all I'm going to do is extract that right on the desktop, for example, Skake. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna get rid of the zip, and we're gonna open this up. Then gonna head straight to jars. I'm gonna leave that for a bit. Now what we're gonna do is go to dot Minecraft using whatever method you're happy and used to using by now, because you should know how to do it. If not, I'm pretty sure there's a tutorial out there on how to do it. Maybe wait one in the future. We're gonna go into bin right here. No, we're not go back on. Gonna drag and copy. To do that you drag and drop like normal but hold control whilst you're letting go of the mouse. And that will copy bin over. Then we're gonna open up bin and drag and copy dot minecraft over. Now if you wanna mod the server you do the exact same thing here and just copy the minecraft server.jar into here. Now once we've done that we want to go back one and just to make sure we got the right minecraft coder pack we want to come down to update mcp and this will just make sure you got the correct version if it doesn't I'm not sure if it downloads or... okay so just make sure you got version 4.4 which we do, it'll say 4.4 four at the top. And once you've done that, come to decompile, press enter. And it should start running a program. There we go. Allow for all communication access, save. And then it'll start running some scripts, and this may take some time. So I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm back. This uh, took four minutes, but this is without the Minecraft server. As you can see, it's got an old boarding message and stuff didn't quite work. It says press any key conti to continue. I'm going to do that. And to find your decompiled files, come into SRC or source. Click Minecraft. If you did do the Minecraft server, there will be Minecraft server down here. And from there, there will be the same root directory. Minecraft, net, Minecraft, and source. And these are all the files in. Uh, Minecraft. So that's pretty simple. And that's the end of part 3 for me modding Minecraft. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Uh, please rate, comment and if you would, subscribe. Thank you very much. Out.